Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are doing a birdie review. Uh, given that we have the birdie rebirth newly added, uh, we got the light and dark ones, uh, well from the light dark egg, and then of course we can get water and fire as well. So thankfully wood isn't in the mix being a natural two star, and we also have the light and dark mihos here. So I think this is like at least the third time light and dark mihos have been in the rebirth, so if you still need a dark miho, I think dark miho is like awesome as hell. Uh, this would also be a good opportunity, and I don't know why it keeps showing me this. I know I can perform super evolutions, but I don't have the stuff. I was actually farming for the dark one the other day, but uh, yeah, that that's pretty hard to get. It's going to take a long time, so I'm not really messing with that too much right now. Before we get into the birdie review, though, I want to give a huge thanks to my three most recent patrons, Tom, Miss Ashworth, and Re Reisers. I am so sorry. If you want to tell me how to pronounce that, I can... I, I can do something about that in the next video, perhaps. But yeah, huge thanks to them. But with that being said, we are going to be getting onto the review now. So like I do with new light darks, I quickly go over the fire, water, and wood versions, even though everyone pretty much knows that they're crap anyway. Uh, but yeah, so this guy has an 80% chance one turn taunt. And you know, taunt can be useful for some things. It's just that I think there are much better CCs out there. I know taunt now lowers their attack as well. Uh, and that's like a buff it recently had. I still don't think it's really that great, uh, especially for one turn and an 80% chance. I know we have like, I think fire shelly or so does it for like two turns at a 100% chance or something like that or at least it's one turn 100% chance I'm not too sure uh, so the first skill isn't very good and then we have sap 60% chance uh, for two turns but it's only one type of sap so it's not that powerful either so fire automatically isn't really that great we're gonna be moving on to water now um, this is also natural three star and also in the rebirth pool water actually isn't like totally horrible for something like uh, astromon league we have 80% one turn stun uh, which is a decent CC skill uh, one of the best I would say because they just can't do anything the next turn yeah actually that's not bad I think water birdie must have gotten a buff uh, at some point because I don't remember ever him having 80% one turn stun um, and then 60% 30% for two turns uh, thirst which also is quite good for astromon league it is an AoE and uh, it can definitely prevent them from getting off their active. So, you know, it's not horrible, definitely not, not as bad as I thought. I still really wouldn't recommend going for him unless you are in desperate need of some CC for Astromon League. Other than that though, yeah, we're gonna be moving on. We also have wood here, and for him, you know, I'm just gonna go to the top and hit the wood because he's not important enough to actually go to his wood tab. Um, well, we do have 100% one top for one turn, you know, no, it's not very good. It's 5% of the HP, I guess, if it doesn't get resisted. And then 60% one turn stun with an AoE. I think the birdies must have got buffed or something. Because I remember them being a lot worse. Maybe they got buffed with the with the refresh of the rebirth or something. But with those out of the way, we're moving on to the actually important ones, the light and dark. The light one looks very offensive with morale boost and predator, and he's also an attacker. So light attackers I don't like as much as dark attackers uh, because they have no resist and they only have 20% crit rate instead of 100% crit damage. All in all, you know, he's okay. He's kind of average. He's kind of like a jack of all trades sort of Astromon. He just, you know, he can get off his five star active a little bit more often and it'll do more damage. Uh, so yeah, you know, there's nothing really to say about him. Maybe for new players, it, it would be nice to have like a light damage dealer in there. But like I said, he's nothing special. He has no real role. He just does more damage and that's basically it. If you are going to build him, I'd probably go on the ruin set with crit rate, attack, and HP, kind of like how I build most attackers. Actually, since he doesn't need crit, I probably wouldn't even go for ruin or a crit rate gym um, because he's not a dark type. I always recommend dark attackers to have crit rate because, you know, they all always have 100% crit damage but in his case I don't know I'd probably actually just go attack attack HP or something it's easier to build he'll still do decent damage maybe try and get him on the intuition set or just get some good crit rate subs to take more advantage of the fact he does start out with 20% crit rate uh, but yeah besides that you know eh, he's just kind of eh. we can also take a quick look at his variant form it's uh, very similar to how most very uh, light variants turn into blue and white but yeah, it looks pretty nice actually, pretty nice indeed. And then we have the Dark Birdie, which I already saw he was an HP aggressor, which was kind of nice because I like HP aggressors, but he doesn't have HP aggression on his five star skill, which is a little bit of a turnoff actually. Uh, he just has sort of like a sub healing sort of thing. Well, AOE adrenaline on the five star isn't bad because it can be up to 40%. 
if there are four enemies uh, across from you. So the skill definitely does make him more of a sort of sub healer or passive healer. And then the three star skill is just HP aggression attack. Yeah, so the more HP he has, the more damage he'll do, which, you know, isn't bad. I would say he's probably pretty good for everything in general, but probably actually more for Astromon League, even though that might sound weird, uh, because if you just use his three star skill and then save his five star for a dangerous situation where you guys are low on health, uh, that could definitely turn the battle around because he won't do much damage on his five star at all, but he will heal. He'll do decent damage on his three star if built well enough and uh, that's what you'd be wanting to use the most. So of course, on dark aggressors, I would have to go HP, HP, crit rate, and the set really depends on your substats. If you can get near 100% crit rate uh, without the intuition set, then definitely go ruin, and if not, then go intuition to get that last 20% you need. That's, uh, that's typically how I do it. I don't think any of my dark attackers have ruin sets, just because I don't have very good substat luck. I always have to give them intuition, which I think isn't that bad. I mean, more guaranteed criticals, I think, uh, overpowers another 40% crit rate on top of an already 100%. So yeah, that's just my take on that. Taking a look at his variant, uh, yeah, pretty similar to how most dark variants go. I actually think I like the non-variant a little bit more, more blue and stuff. This one looks kind of, kind, kind of Willy Wonka wacky sort of stuff going on there. Leader skill is also decent. It's only to be used in dungeons, so that is kind of limiting. But uh, HP boosts are always nice regardless. All in all, I say the clear winner here is definitely the Dark Birdie. I think he's the best out of the five and the best out of these two as well, obviously. Uh, light is kind of good general purpose, uh, but I think even dark is better general purpose than light. Uh, light can probably out damage a bit with ruin, crit rate, attack, and HP than dark can do with crit rate, HP, HP uh, by a bit, but then dark will be way more survivable than light and can also act as a healer. So that basically sums up my thoughts on that. I don't think there's too much else to say about the birdies. They are a little bit underwhelming, honestly. Both light darks coming out for basically all of the three stars, I mean, and considering how many different skills they really have to work with, uh, it's not surprising that there's nothing surprising, you know? That's unfortunately the way it'll be until they introduce uh, a lot of different skills. You know, we have sap, aggression, that's what I'm talking about. We need, I don't know, five or six different skills that do completely something different. Need to think a little bit outside the box to get some more unique uh, Astromons in here. But going a little bit off topic now, so I guess this is where I'm going to wrap it up. I do still think Rebirth is worth going for, uh, especially especially if you don't have a Dark Horn yet. Um, I think even Dark Birdie isn't that bad. I think he can be definitely useful. I also kind of imagine Dark Birdie with uh, something like a Siphon set, because he will do a lot of damage with his 3-star. Uh, so this is more for uh, Astromon League and not really farming, I would say, because he won't do much damage at all on his active. But a Siphon set would be really helpful in League, because you could uh, make more sure that you have his active ready when you need to heal. Uh, so that can that can really turn the battle around. We never really checked out their stats either, so I'm gonna look at just light and darks though. So Evo 3 six star, he has 44.6k HP, which is definitely pretty damn good. Uh, taking a look at like, I don't know, Light Kokomaru or something. I don't think he, I think they're almost around the same and Light Kokomaru has an insane amount of HP. Yeah, wow, he only has 37k, jeez, holy crap. The Dark Birdie has a lot of HP. Who was it that had so much HP? Maybe it was a nat 5. Well, before we look into that, let's uh, look at his stats. So, he actually doesn't have very much attack power, I think, for an attacker, or am I wrong? Well, Light Sparkon has 3300. Light Syrah has 3400. Yeah, but now we're looking at nat 5s. I mean, even an Evo 3 Light Sun Wukong doesn't have as much HP as that Dark Birdie. And he's also a tank. Light Odin doesn't have as much HP. Okay, but yeah, I guess you can't beat Light Shiva with almost 50k base HP at Evo 3. But out of the nat 5s, Light Shiva is the only one with more HP than Dark Birdie. Light wise, at least. I'm not going to check all the elements. There's probably one other. Okay, we'll check the dark tanks, but that's it. Okay, yeah. Dark Balrona also has a little bit more. I think Dark Party has 44k, but Dark Nightmare doesn't have as much. Dark Valk has a little bit more. Arthur has a little bit more as well. Regardless, so the point is he has a lot of HP for a Nat 4. And yeah, so that'll also make his HP aggression uh, stronger as well. So yeah, I think Dark Party is pretty solid. Pretty solid indeed. Uh, probably worth going for. If you need a unit like him, 
Uh, but besides that, I don't know, it's a little bit underwhelming as a whole, and that's just my take on it. So tell me what you think about it in the comments down below. Uh, leaving a like would also be greatly appreciated if you did happen to enjoy. Subscribing is also an option if you want to see future videos like this. Thanks guys, as always, for watching, and until next time. Once again, a huge thanks to my supporters over on Patreon.